Hey Scorpio, welcome to Shared Sentience. Thank you all so much for being here. I really appreciate you. Um, this is going to be a general reading for the surprises coming your way. All right, so I did say surprises because I'm going to be going over multiple surprises here. So if the reading doesn't feel like it could possibly resonate with you in the beginning, feel free to stick around or skip around. You might find something that is meant for you that feels like it clicks, okay? So um, I don't have personals open right now. I close those out on the 21st. You all are more than welcome to follow me over on Patreon if you'd like that information is down below Scorpio let's get started for you and see what we get here okay give me a surprise coming Scorpio's way what's that that's calling me there okay high priestess six of wands okay what else oh well three of wands I'm getting a few here okay um I accidentally pulled out more than I had anticipated all right um so you have the High Priestess here as the overall card for this surprise. So it could involve a Pisces here for some, Cancer, maybe a Taurus. Uh, but this is a card of like intuition. It's a card of secrets. It's a card, it's very feminine energy, by the way. Um, it's a card of knowing your truth, sitting in your truth confidently. Um, you know, it, it can mean a lot of things here, but mainly I feel as if there's something coming to the light just because we have the Six of Wands here. This is a card, like he's being recognized in this card here. He's um, in the spotlight. He's out in the open. I feel like something is going to be recognized here. And I feel like you've spotted this from a mile away with the Three of Wands energy, but the people around you have not is how that feels to me, okay? So I feel like you have felt something out like you called it before somebody else did is how this feels to me so I do feel as if there's some kind of like comeback around here there's been a heated discussion I do feel like for some of you this has already taken place like somebody felt as if you were wrong about something here and you're like okay whatever I'll watch I'll wait it's gonna happen Ten of swords you know that that's the energy that I get here it's not that you want this person to be hurt but you, you try to warn someone here is how that feels to me and I do feel as if there could be an apology here the nine of pentacles showing up I feel like you could have uh, uh, separated yourself from this individual or they separated themselves from you let me look at this just a little bit more here what else is happening with this energy for Scorpio the lovers yeah I mean there's distance between the two figures there in the card yeah for sure I feel like you drifted from someone after you told them uh, what was happening here they didn't really feel that that was the case. All right, you got the Three of Pentacles. It's being out in the open. It's being put on display for them, okay, in plain sight here. If you look at that person on the bench being recognized, all right. So I do feel like there's a person coming back into your life that you have drifted from. There is some healing that can be had here, okay. It could be with an Aquarius or a Gemini. It feels like a friend, all right. could be a family member. Um... Someone you had a really close connection with, though. I feel like it's going to take time to rebuild a bond. And I don't feel that it will ever be the same here, Scorpio, if I'm being honest. But I do feel like there is an apology coming in. And there's a chance to heal something, all right? I do feel like this person, like, drifted from you because you tried to warn them about something here. And it just... They had to learn the hard way. So, let's see what else we have here for you. Give me another surprise coming in for Scorpio, please. Is that page of wands? Could be a fire sign messaging you here. Queen of Pentacles, Queen of Swords. Okay, so could be two females involved here. It doesn't have to be females, just two feminine energies. Got their backs turned to one another here. Three of Wands. Could be a heated discussion going on here with an Aries, Libra, Capricorn. What's happening here with this? But there is a truth being expressed here, Scorpio. What's happening with this? I almost feel as if, you know, with the way the Queen of Swords is sitting, I feel like that's your energy for some reason. It almost seems to me like you think something was lost, okay? You thought something was lost, like you didn't see it, um, you know, ever progressing or coming back to you or... It's, it's something like that here with the Seven of Cups. You're like, I don't know where it went. I don't know anything about it. You know, that's that kind of energy that I get here. And then you have the Knight of Cups. So there is an apology from someone here. It feels like it's that Queen of Pentacles, whoever that might be for you. But there is an apology here. It's something like... This is somebody I feel is very prideful. Like this is going to be like the biggest surprise yet for you because this is someone who's very prideful and it doesn't have to be um, a, a friend, okay? It could be um, a past partner here or somebody that you were involved with romantically. It can be a family member. It can be anyone here, but they feel very fiery. They feel very prideful, okay? Um, 
So yeah, that's what I'm feeling here, Scorpio. Somebody's going to be apologizing. Like, this is the last person you would ever expect to give an apology to anyone, is the energy that I feel from them. Like, they are very hard-headed. Um, yeah, you know, and I feel like they're coming in so tender, so soft, okay? They're ready to heal things with you. They've got the ten, you got the Ten of Cups right here. And I feel like you could see it happening, you know? Now, you do have your guard up still. She's got her, um, she's got her hand out here like welcoming, you know, just welcoming it in, but at the same time, she's got that sword up, okay? You're trying to be careful here, but I do feel as if this can be worked on, okay? I really do. I feel like there um, is a future for this, possibly, okay? If you choose to work on it. But there's someone here who definitely is trying to heal something with you, Scorpio. That's come through twice now, so it could definitely be different people for um, all of you, okay? What's happening here with this? Obviously, it's going to be different people for all of you, but I mean, for some of you, it could be like a past romantic interest. For others of you, it could be a past friend. All right. What else is happening here for Scorpio? Give me the next surprise for Scorpio. What other surprises are coming through for Scorpio, please? What other? Okay, what's that? Four of Swords. All right. Somebody could have Jupiter and Libra. What's happening with this energy here? with this energy here for Scorpio. Two of Swords. Somebody got their moon in Libra. Two of Wands. Okay, what's that? Wands wanting me to. Page of Cups. Um, somebody here could have Mars in Aries. But I feel like you're about to have control in a situation here. It doesn't feel like, I don't mean like a narcissistic, like toxic form of control, of course. I don't mean anything petty by this at all. I just feel as if like you are going to feel in control of your life. Like you're going to feel like this is mine. I'm, you know, I'm making the choices here. You've got two twos showing up. So a big decision coming up for some of you here. But I feel like this is going to make you very happy. All right. You got the four of swords. Like there's an opportunity that I feel you've been asleep to or you haven't really seen the true value of. Four of swords can be a card of value or not value, I'm sorry, gratitude. I guess value uh, would be accurate as well. But the two of swords showing up here, blindfold, like I feel like you've just not seen this, okay? And I feel like you're starting to feel that or something's changing about the way that it's being offered to you. Something is changing about the way that you're seeing it. So um, that could be a clue for some of you. It's like internally you're doing a lot of work here. And so everything external starts to change as a result. And I feel like that's where you're going to want to take this opportunity. That's where you're going to start seeing the value in it. That's when you're going to start appreciating it. It could be another water sign here, but I do feel as if you're going to be taking this opportunity. All right. For some of you, you're going to take it um, and you're feeling like it, it could be slipping away here. I don't think that it's slipping away, but, um, you know, I do feel as if for others of you, like this person, there, there could be a person here who's feeling this way about you and they're doing a lot of internal work and they're going to take um, the lead on something here. And there's going to be an emotional conversation that's had with that Page of Cups. But other than that, you know, I feel like you're rolling with the punches. Page of Cups is a very flexible, adaptable kind of energy. I feel like you're moving into a space of gratitude. Um, you're closing yourself off to things that are just making you um, like causing a lot of mental chaos, uh, emotional chaos. I feel like you're closing yourself off from that energy. You're protecting your heart. You're protecting your head. Um, and, you know, I feel as if you feel very much in control because of this, because you're not just so open and receptive to en any energy that's willing to come towards you, okay? So I feel like you're in a space where you're able to uh, fill out other options here, and I like that for you a lot, Scorpio. I feel like it's leading you to something really, really happy. So um, I love this for you. And um, if you guys want to watch out for your other signs, feel free to do so. I actually recommend it, all right? So uh, if this is where we part, though, Scorpio, I want to thank you for watching and supporting me, and you all enjoy the rest of your month. Bye.